Hey guys, Zoe here from OneGlassTrader.com and welcome to part 5 of my trading journal trading the automated EA that I've created called the RSI MTF Indicator. And for those of you who want to learn more or go back and understand you know, how I got started and where we are to date, please click the link in the description or in the top right hand corner to go watch the full playlist from the beginning. Now, in this video I'm going to talk about the auto well not the automated the manual trade that i did on the usd jpy and then i'll go through the account in terms of where i am today in terms of profit and uh, how we ended the month so for those of you who watched part four you will remember that the ea got me into a bit of trouble um and it created or opened one two three four buy trades on the usd jpy pair and as you can see from when it opened the first uh, trade to when it opened the fourth trade um it was a very strong downtrend so as i mentioned in part four what i decided to do was take the uh well disable the ea on this currency pair and get involved myself and do some manual trading so what we did was is that we opened a fifth trade a manual trade where this arrow is at the moment um and the reason why i did that is because the macd crossed above the zero line um and therefore giving me a high enough probability that this trend was potentially going to be able to reverse and start going into an uptrend um, and as i mentioned before if you want to understand how i did that the full details about my reasoning please go check out part four because it goes into all of that information and i actually put the trade on live so you guys can see exactly what i did uh, at that point so when i put the trade on um it took my break even uh, down to 110.264 and for those of you who remember that um, at this stage when when the EA gets into a bit of trouble I'm not looking to go make a profit on all of these trades that have been created what I've decided to do is I just want to get out a break even um, and as you'll see in a second this trade does work itself out if I was if I did actually leave it alone um, where I didn't even need to get involved and you'll see as I scroll right across the chart what happened uh, uh, earlier or later on inside that week but um, so I created the trade I then changed the take profit target of all the open trades to the break even line and then as you can see on on the 26th of March so it then got out at uh, break even uh, which is great so it just kind of shows so if we actually look to see what happened it's straight away it went straight away that manual trade went into profit and so did the fourth trade go straight into profit and then uh, over the course of the next couple of days it just kept going against me and then came up again went against me came up again went against me and then eventually it went there now if we look at see where the first trade was opened if I just put a line on where the first trade was open here and I scroll across um, you can see that even the first trade was getting into profit and then you can see here that it clearly made its original five pips that I'm looking for it to make there you go made 25 pips there and this is where we are kind of today um, and the um, and so then since that trade um, there was a signal here now the reason why this trade wasn't taken is because I was at because I was at work the EA was disabled so it didn't happen till I got back in from work to enable the EA which kind of uh, missed this um, trade but you can see here quite comfortably it would have made its five pips on that one inside there and then the next trade it took I'd zoom in slightly Uh, was over here and you can see here it made this five pips there so uh, the EA was turned on back then so that's just really to show you um, like I said about how I got involved um, and like I said the EA would have sorted itself out but again I want to try to get involved and get myself out of these troubles because I don't want huge amounts of drawdown in here so again I've got confidence in the system but I've also got confidence in my ability to get me out of this um, 
um, out of this kind of situation that I put myself in. So again, this is what I'm going to try to do if that continues to happen inside the future. But hopefully I won't need to go. Um, uh, hopefully if I didn't get involved, that it would eventually sort itself out. So I really hope that makes sense. And like I said, go watch part four. Part four goes into in a lot more detail into the reasons why I've taken or why I took this manual trade over here. Um, but the good news is, is that the EA, um, or I say the EA, um, price sorted itself out and would have closed the trade in profit if I did not do anything, which is in the long run, which is probably a good thing. But like I said, just want to get involved, close out these trades that kind of go against me. I'm not fussed about making, you know, 0.1% profit on every single trade when a situation like this occurs. I just want to erase that drawdown, get out of break even, and then start again. So that was that piece. And then the last piece I just wanted to kind of show you in terms of where we are inside the account at the moment. Just make this a bit bigger. on here so we have one open trade on the aussie dollar which i'll show you in a second um but overall um it's been there there about a month um i think there's the 29th uh it's the 31st today sorry um and it's the 29th of february is when i started so just a little over a month now and the balance is on 8.7 percent return and the equity is on 8.4% return. So I could just close out this trade um, if I really wanted to and be 8.4% up for the month um, of March, which is, I think it's brilliant. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Drawdown has been relatively low. I've had to get involved twice. And again, the first time I got involved, it got me out in a few hours. The second time I got involved took me about two, three days to get me out of trouble. So, you know, there was no panicking. Drawdown was relatively low. Again, it's very early days. Um, so again, we'll give it another month, another couple of months, see how this system goes before I actually start either letting the community have a go at this system to really see what the refinements and stuff like that. And if you guys are interested in testing out this system, please leave some comments. Um, and then I can start having a look on how I'm going to phase that out. And then secondly, is to actually start putting real money in there. Because as you guys can see, we are on a demo account. And that's purely for testing reasons only. Um, so if this is consistent over the next three, four months, I'll then start to look in real money. And then we can start forward testing on a live account. And then we'll see how it goes. And throughout the whole experience, again, I'll let you guys see what's going on, the good and the bad, the drawdown, the non-drawdown, etc. So, you know, stick with me on this one. You know, it's getting more very interesting now, 8.7% return. Let's see if we can do that you know, for the uh, month of April as well. And with the compounding effect, that's going to get even better. So really hope you enjoy this video um, and I shall see you in the next episode.